So this is Honey Bear, a huge yearling who basically is a baby and sometimes can be a spoiled brat. Uh, she literally destroyed the interior of her horse owner's trailer. She ended up striking at the trailer, kicking at it, snapping hooks when she was tied, uh, did a lot of expensive damage. You're going to watch and see how I take her away from the trailer and build her confidence away from the trailer so she learns to stand, give the pressure, and move into the pressure instead of fighting it. Then we reintroduce her to the trailer. So since she has a tendency to sit back sometimes, uh -huh. um, we'll do is again, so I'm just going to wrap it on here. I'm not going to have her tied, right? Because we don't okay. want her to have a wreck. And then I'm going to see how much pressure it takes to actually get her. See if I can get this down. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Let's see how much pressure it takes to get her to sit back. Okay. Um, so I can start with just kind of wiggling this rope and adding pressure. So you see how it's kicking back. I'm going to hold. And when she sits back, I'm going to maintain just a little bit of constant pressure, but I'll let that rope slide out. And the idea here is for her there to go forward from the pressure, right? Okay. So she took a step forward. I'm going to take a nice big deep breath. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can lead her back up to see how she's fighting. I'm going to let it go, but I'm just maintaining slight constant pressure. I'll switch right here if I need to. Okay. I'm going to maintain pressure until she comes forward. So I'm going to stick with her here. There. Only coming forward. Good girl. Gets her out of the pressure. So I'm going to go back to asking her to come forward. Good girl. Good. Because when a horse sits back, um, it's not necessarily just about being tied. It's really about not understanding how to give the pressure. Okay. What's happening is they put pressure back. They feel that compounded pressure on their pole from their halter. Mm -hmm. And they feel trapped, right? And so then they freak out. They start sitting back, shaking their head back and forth violently, thrashing, all that kind of stuff. Because they're trying to get away from that pressure. So what I want to do is teach her that... Step up, sweetheart. That thrashing or continuing to pull back, that's not going to get her out of the pressure. The only thing that's going to get her out of the pressure is moving forward out okay. of that pressure. That's okay. just going to get her released from the pressure. Makes sense. And so when they're tied, it's tough to teach them that because the more they pull, it's, they just freak out. And eventually they're going to snap whatever you have them tied to, pull something over, or hurt themselves, right? End up um, hurting themselves. So I'm going to start again by just adding pressure like this. Go back. I'm gonna hold. Ooh, good girl. Good girl. Very good. And so, if we weren't adding the pressure to actually make her begin to sit back, we wouldn't know where she is, right? Okay. And so we've got to be willing. We're gonna set her up in a safe way. We got to be willing to put enough pressure on her to make her uncomfortable enough that she starts to pull back. I like that. Forward, I'll quit the pressure. Awesome. So that was good. Instead of shooting back, she kind of tried to figure out what would get her out. She stepped forward. We took the pressure away from her. Awesome. Good girl. Good. And so typically, when you put her in the trailer, the issue is you clip her and she shoots back out of there mm -hmm. and tries to pull, pull it. And so by practicing here, and we'll take her in the trailer in a little bit. But by practicing here, you know, it's a lot safer, you know, you're not in that tight space, all mm -hmm. that. We can get her confident um, with this here, and then we can take her to the trailer. Now I'm going to stick with her here, stick with her, add just a little bit of pressure, good. But the, the, so going back to this, the key here though is I'm not muscling her. And that's the biggest mistake a lot of people make is they try to hold that pony, right? And you know, we're never going to be stronger than our horses, they're, <laughs> they're way too powerful. So I'm going to add pressure, but I'm also going to drift with her just so that that pressure maintains constant. I'm not trying to pull her forward. I'm just maintaining pressure so that she can respond to that pressure. So as long as she's going back, I'm just going to maintain pressure because I don't want to force her to come forward. I want her to choose to come forward because, oh, that's going to be a lot more comfortable 
going forward rather than fighting it and going back. So I'm going to go back to adding pressure. I'm going to back her off me a little bit here. Good. Faster step over. Good. Maintain pressure. And I'm going to go shaking this rope here. See if I can add enough pressure to make her back. I'm going to hold. Go. Stay with her here. Stay with her here. There. I'll release the pressure. Good girl. I'm going to go right back to it and add her again here. I'm going to add pressure. Good. She steps forward, right? So I yeah. take pressure away. Good girl. I'm going to go again. I'm going to add pressure. Add pressure. Keep with it. Hold slightly. There. Good girl. Oh, she did it perfect. Yeah, that was really good because ideally that's where we want to get to. Where if she's tied in that trailer, or tied anywhere for that matter, right? If for some reason she decides to back up the length of the rope, that she doesn't panic and shoot backwards, she says, oh, let me get out of this pressure. Best way to get out of that pressure is step to forward. move forward. Okay. Yeah, step forward. Good girl. So I really like that. I'm going to go and rub her for that. And so this is the first step. I just want to make sure that I can put pretty uh, significant amounts of pressure on her and um, she stands here because there's so many things that can happen when a horse is tied another horse can can get out and start running i see yeah. horses run under a horse's neck or behind them and they, they freak out and stuff so we want to make sure that they're okay with different amounts of pressure so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add some pressure with our steady stick and again this is not about her doing perfect I want her to sit back against that pressure so we can teach her something there. Because she gets really panicky in that trailer. So stick with her. I'm going to add there. I'm going to go right back to it. She gets really panicky in that trailer, right? Yes. You know, um, so. Just like she's doing now. Don't want her tearing up your panel. But we need to at least put enough. Pre I, 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 sorry about that. I'm going to see if I can. Find a no, 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 no. I'm going to see if I can find a spot where we can let up. I can't really just let up off of her now. Gotcha. You're okay. No, ma'am. Forward. Good. Okay. So what we're doing, even through all this drama, is she's learning that this drama isn't going to get her out of the pressure. Good girl. It's better. Yep. But by maintaining her, you know, if I had just started and good girl finished off where we were, where she was just standing there and looking pretty good, mm -hmm. this these holes wouldn't come out, right? I gotcha. And so, because now what you just experienced is what she did in that trailer last week, where she could literally kill herself. Yeah. I mean, I was terrified her legs were going to go through the side of the trailer. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. There, good girl.
so I'm going to see if I can get her to a better spot here. Okay. Then we're going to go back and 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 uh, bring the pressure up. Are you okay? Since we already damaged this panel, are you okay with the sting? <laughs> yeah, might as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, when I move the round pan over there, I'm going to use the new panels. Okay. All these are going to go back over here. <laughs> Sorry, oh gosh. You That's know. okay. Okay, so I'm going to take a nice big deep breath. I'm going to see if I can get her to relax. You see that front right kind of Mm-hmm. Want her to resettle good. I'm gonna add pressure, add pressure, stick with her till she goes forward, good girl. Yeah, I'm glad you pushed her to that point where you saw what she did in the trailer. It was it was very unnerving. I can imagine. and choose that means she's kind of processed it now yeah it means okay. that she's a little bit more relaxed um when they lick and chew too um it helps to release endorphins into that into their system that kind of licking and chewing and so it helps also to encourage her to relax even more right and so okay. anytime you can get one of those um indications that they're relaxed with this licking and chewing taking a deep breath resting a foot all those things lowering that head um all those things are signs sometimes that they'll have a lot of tension in their tail and their tail will soften or their eyes are wide open and they'll soften those eyes all of those are good signs that your pony is starting to relax and then you can kind of move on so here we go there good, good girl point. good so now i'm going to go back to what we started with i'm going to go ahead and pull this back <laughs> I'm going to go back to what we started with, that initial pressure I was using, which was shaking this throat. I think she feels like if I just don't move, it'll go, it'll go away. <laughs> if I Good just don't girl. look, it's not there. <laughs> right, right. Good girl. Okay, I'm going to ask her again here. And again, right back here. Good. So again, you see what I'm talking about? Like the ugliness that comes before it gets worse. Now, I haven't been putting any amount of pressure I was earlier. We're going to go back to that. And just be careful as you're holding your nose. Know, I know. I, a while ago, I was following and I went, oh, wow. She's like two she's feet from me. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Where's Tony over there? <laughs> Good girl. Okay, so I'm going to go back to adding some pressure. And so, now that I kind of know that this is kind of... Quick, get off of there. Get off of there. I'm going to add a minute. Enough pressure just to get a reaction. Draw her back. Good girl. just going to go so far, right? That's exactly what I do. <laughs> you just described me to a T. <laughs> and so, what I want to do is kind of draw some of this stuff out and work her through it. Okay. And let her know that these overreactions and fits aren't going to get her out of the pressure. There, good. And so, 
the key with this stuff too is really trying to have a soft hand with your lead rope. Okay. If at any of these times when she's rearing up and acting foolish, if I try to hold her, she's going to flip over. She's going to end up getting hurt, something like that. My goal is to add just a little bit of, of constant pressure the best I can, um, but without compromising her, right? So you'll see there's sometimes when, you know, she's rearing up so high, I'll just have to release that way we don't flip her over, right? Um, but um, as soon as she comes back down on her feet, I've got pressure back on the line. So okay. that she's not getting out of that pressure because of that. so I, I like that she stood still there for a few mm -hmm. moments while I was hitting the ground there I'm gonna go right back to it so Noah is it because the pressure's coming right at her? Because, you know, I do that every day three times on each side. Right. After I've done the, the initial desensitizing. And so, she never does this. So what it is, is it, it's really, it really ultimately is just a trust issue. Oh. And so what it means, and it's just like everything comes down to trust with these guys. Every single thing. And so what it means is she trusts you or trusts me or anybody for that matter to a certain point, right? And so she'll trust you to do it while you're standing beside her, while we do our traditional desensitizing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm good with that. But then she says, wait, but you have my head tied up while you're doing that? Mm, I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. That's too much pressure. And I kind of feel a little claustrophobic. And, and so I'm not going to trust that this is going to end well. I'm going to try to find my own way to get out of this. Okay. And so that's what she's, she's doing now. Um, so there's there's two things at work here when we try to work a horse through something like this is one them developing um, kind of a pattern and learning that hey every time I relax the pressure goes away so that's one aspect of it the other aspect too is every time she rears up and does all this theatrics and she comes back down it's a waste of energy because it doesn't get because it doesn't get her anything. And so she begins to understand, man, that's a lot of wasted energy <laughs> with no results, right? And so try after try after try, what will end up happening is she's going to stop rearing up because she's like, that doesn't get me anything. I'm expending all this energy. And we know that horses naturally don't like to expend more energy than they have to, right? Good girl. Okay, I'm going to go right back to it. Just to gently add pressure. That good girl, good. very good. She could have thrown a fit there, but she did not. She's very pleased with that. Okay, in here. That's not okay. You can't be pawing and striking at it. You're going to get yourself hurt or hurt somebody. Good girl. I'm going to go right back to it here. I like that. I like that a lot. Again, here we go. There, 
good. I like how she just kind of <laughs> cocked that hip, <laughs> fell her feet. Let's stick with her here. Man, the hair. What? Good girl. I'm really, really going to take some time and just affirm her here. Because those were some really good, yeah, some really good decisions she made there.
and I, you, you'll see people, they'll say quit or stop that, and then a few mo moments later they'll say quit and stop, but they're not consistent with it, and that means they're not consistent with the release. Okay. Um, you'll even see people, they'll like, like take rocks and toss them at the horse, <gasps> but all that, yeah, they'll, they'll throw them at the horse's feet when they're pawing and stuff like that, um, kind of as a pattern interrupt and the idea oh, the, okay. the idea makes sense you're trying to interrupt that thought process but you're not working them through i'm saying no 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 and when you give me that no then i take the pressure off of you and okay you're like, oh, she's kind of settled with and rested for a <laughs> girl <laughs> rested for a little bit here um but i'm gonna go back and turn the pressure up just a little bit more here so I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit more pressure here. What a, what a good girl. girl. What She's good still pony. resting her back foot. Yeah. She did really well there. Really, really well. Very good. No pressure here. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, so when she threw her tantrum in the trailer, it scared me so bad that <laughs> all I tried to do was calm her down. Good. All That's I said all you was, you're do. okay. You're okay. Yes. Just, you're okay. Let's stay with her here. I don't like this pawn stuff. It looks like it's progressively getting worse. Ugh. I don't want her to do that. And I think it's just stay on top of it. Okay. You know, make sure that you're really consistent when you admonish her about it. Stick with her here. Keep with her. Oh, how good girl. Good girl. Good. I'm going to swing her hind in away from me. There. Good girl. Very good. And when you're doing this stuff, your safety comes first. If that hind in starts coming, you immediately... You know, give her a little rein, push back that around. hind okay. end away so that she's not compromising you by swinging that hind end Okay. Her. Yeah, it's scary when they freak out like that. And that's all you can do is, you know, um, you've got to make sure that you're safe. So get out of the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? A lot of times people go in there and they just jump in to try and be with their horse. But if they end up knocking you down, you're no good to them anyway. Get out of the way, take a deep breath, and then take a moment to figure out if there's a way that you can safely help them through it, right? You know, you teaching me to breathe, Noah, has been the best help for us. For me. That's awesome. Because I get afraid. Sure. When I was a kid, there I had no fear. Mm -hmm. Zero fear of horses. <laughs> there's more fear at home. My sure. fear was not out with my horses. <laughs> sure. You know? Sure. I wasn't the best of kids. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say, uh, I caused a few, you know, unnecessary arguments at our home. I see that now. I didn't see that as a kid. Sure, sure. But sure. so, you know, now that I realize I could get hurt bad, and who's going to take care of everything? It's a, uh, it's a different, I guess, just a different stage in life. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. a lot of people will, uh, they'll say things like. Um, you know, I wasn't I wasn't fearful when I was younger, but now I have this fear and, and all of that. But maybe it's just wisdom. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Maybe we're calling it the wrong name. I think you're right. Because when you stop, you're like, wait a minute. Uh, I've been hurt before. Not gonna happen again. Exactly. And I'm not gonna not love my ponies, and I'm not gonna not ride. Sure. So I'm overcoming some sort of the fear, but. Yeah, when it when it's that freak out in the trailer thing, I'm just like, oh yeah, we could both get hurt really bad right now, sunshine. Look at that pretty yeah, girl. Yeah, licking, licking and chewing, head nice and low. I like that. So, what I'd like to do, good girl, she's good doing really well. Girl. Really huge progress from where we started, where she was rearing up and yeah. striking up. And, Tearing up the round fish. <laughs> <laughs> so standing nice and quiet while we're adding quite a bit of pressure. But now she's in a better spot for when we put her into the trailer. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take her to the trailer. Okay. See how she does in there. 